Chris Thompson here at, at 92, sticking in the kind of organization here. Okay. Obviously, Chris Thompson had a ridiculous stretch of games there. And when you look at the game log, you're like, man, the points are ridiculous. But, you know, the, the kind of thing was in redraft, I, my personal opinion was to sell Chris Thompson because I didn't think that it was a sustainable thing. I think he Well, could, you were all over him before the season. You're right. like, you got to pick up Chris Thompson. And then he came in, blew up, was scoring like three TDs right. a game. And then you're like, maybe you ought to move along Just, now. And the, so the way he here. was doing it, it was a lot of big plays and, and, and all that kind of stuff. And I... I I just would have probably definitely going to be some regression there, and I'm and I'm probably staying away again here at 92. Not that I don't like Chris Thompson. There's I a just, lot to like about this dude, but let me rattle off his injury rap sheet here. In in 2012, it was a torn ACL. Then he had a labrum tear requiring surgery in 13, a labrum tear uh, that required surgery in 15, another torn labrum in 16, a fractured fibula, fibula that made him made him miss most of 17 here with uh, that he had surgery on too and those are just the the major injuries that does include all the strains sprains of all the different various body parts legs ankles knees toes and thighs um <laughs> and some back contusions yeah, so it's like out there holy crap yeah well what you you said you hit the nail on the head right there casey with all of the late pickups every single time that conversation came around casey was telling you to get this guy get thompson on your team get thompson on your team and dude this the first six weeks of the season he oh, was man. on Lights fire out. he was like a little he was like David so Johnson out there he, he's so explosive he was ridiculous Knack but for the end zone just. but it was it was huge play after huge play he was part of the reason why why the redskins the other position players couldn't get anything done because he was scoring from 40 yards out yeah. taking away the drive all of a sudden you're the the redskins have a couple of plays and they get a first down they get a first down boom score chris Al thompson Smith didn't ha or uh, uh kirk, kirk cousins. cousins didn't have to throw it to a wide receiver at all he just had chris thompson it was ridiculous and if i if i had this dude i'd probably be trying to move on and get something decent in return, or maybe you try and hold to see if if his stock goes up early in the season. That it is, he is saying that he should be back for training camp, so that's good to hear. Well, but, I mean, I think I think if he does get on the field and you do own him, I think you know you're you're gonna see, you know, maybe not the same like again because he was big play after big play. Maybe you won't see that like as a on a consistent basis like you were there where it was just ridiculousness. But all it's gonna take is a little bit to to flip. Thompson and, and get some in season right. value on. Well, him. anytime you're scoring big chunk plays like that, the whole key word is sustainable, sustainable. And it's definitely not sustainable with those types of plays unless your name's Tyreek Hill. But the other thing is, like, I didn't really, I knew it was injury, 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 but I really hadn't heard those specific injuries until you rattled them off. It's and a would, lot. Would, no, but it was the, 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 the did you say three <clears throat> labrums? Three different torn labrums. So I'm not liking my running back. Who shorty running back? I'm not like my back. small little running back that's got three shoulders that have already been blown up. So if I, I'm not drafting Chris Thompson here because last year he was in the 200s, and after a couple of ridiculously good games, he comes up 120 spots. Here he is, and I can't buy him where he is now because he's it's not sustainable. It is lightning in a bottle, and if he does start the season next year and he's playing, maybe he is in your lineup and he's crushing it for a little while. But we there's just no, it's not a smart hold it might not be a bad flip you might not you might be able to get him from somebody even cheap this that you know you might be able to get him from somebody right now who's like oh, i can't even deal with this i'll take a second rounder for him and you might be able to get two second rounders for him the first week of the season when he scores some points but i wouldn't want him on my team and try to be and think long term and chris john yeah, and, and right. chris thompson right long term and chris thompson is just not gonna go together that's i'm not interested i think if he if he's healthy in the short term i think he's somebody that i'm and I have on my team, I'm either trying to move in the off season when he comes back and they're saying how good he looks or in season when he gets back on the field for a little bit and, and can catch some balls and, and get a couple handoffs. I'm with you. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take it to break. We'll be back with some more Married to the Game. <laughs> 